What is good, everyone? It is your favorite multi cardboard selling producer. It's okay, it's okay. And today, I'm gonna be breaking down and reacting to Cherry on Top, this one K pop group called Binny. It's a K pop group, right? If I'm not mistaken. Someone commented in one of my last reactions that I should react to this. And we're here now. I'm a music producer. I've been making music for a while now. Just look at my channel, you can see it for yourself. <laughs> and i'm gonna be breaking down the production musical side of things for this song so you can connect with your favorite music your favorite songs your favorite artists on a more deeper personal level because i know not everyone knows much about the music production side of things or even at all don't worry that's what i'm here for all right let me take you to my screen get straight into it and yeah let's go also i'm gonna leave a link to my most recently produced song up here and in the description yeah you're gonna like it all right i appreciate it and yeah let's get into it my presence is a present okay okay let me run that back break down the beginning down oh my goodness this is so like pretty all right so right here the the dun 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 those are just some simple chords from an e piano either an electric piano or a keyboard called the Rhodes, which is just another type of piano that has that type of sound it's just some simple chords the tempo also called the bpm the how fast the song is going is pretty high i'm not sure i'm thinking about 150 to 170 one of those because also the ch -ch 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 -ch, those are just some hi-hats which hi-hats are it's just those t -t 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 type of sounds right so that's what that is in the background so right now it started off like that with some simple chords from a Rhodes and a simple drum and bass hi-hat type of pattern and that woo, that's just the vox okay with some reverb which reverb is think of it as cave echo like woo, cave echo all right just uh, think of it as that all right that's what reverb is that thunk, that is a snare some nice backing vocals too that my presence is a present talking french i keep you guessing Okay, okay, okay. Let me break down the drums because everything just stayed the same, right? But some new drums came in. My presence is a present. Okay, that jing, that do, do that you hear, that is called an 808. An 808 is simply a type of bass. There are different types of basses that are used in music. There's a sub bass, there's a bass from a guitar, from a bass guitar, and there's a plug bass, and then there's an 808, which is this is what an 808 is. Traditionally used in rap, in trap, that is what you're hearing right there. Next is just a simple clap pattern. The clap is the... That's what I'm hearing so far for this pattern, okay? Talking French, I keep you guessing. Super crispy. No, you got I like the harmonies uh, as well. Some nice reverb. Every day, celebrate you with me. Every day, it's your birthday, I repeat, birthday, I repeat. Yeah. If you want to speak, sugar online. Okay, okay, let me run that back for the pre chorus. That part right there, that's the pre chorus. The pre chorus is simply the part that is building up to the chorus, right? Which I'm thinking the part after this is the chorus. Correct me if I'm wrong, but from what I'm hearing so far, that's the chorus. See, now it switched the bass sound. So instead of an 808, now it's an actual bass from a bass guitar. And now. Lord bless me with the Asian woman. Oh my goodness. Let me run that back. Hold on. Instruments first. You have that bass, right? As I mentioned before, but that that's basically a strummed electric piano or another Rhodes or the same Rhodes, but a Rhodes. Okay. Simply put it, the chords are strummed really nice, like how you're hearing that. 
and instead of being played right here correct like in the middle as you heard in the beginning they're being played up an octave which going up an octave basically means going up higher in the keyboard so therefore generating a higher sound you feel me so that's what that is okay for the drums, the hi-hat loop, the hi-hat pattern is simply filtered. And the way they filtered that, the producer filtered that, they put this thing called an equalizer on it, right? And an equalizer simply basically shapes your sound, a specific sound. Using that equalizer, you move around these knobs around until you get a specific sound. And this hi-hat pattern is basically filtered. I'm gonna put an image up right here to how it was basically filtered so you could understand a lot more like that because these words that are coming out my mouth probably make no sense to you right now. I completely understand. So I'm gonna just put an image right here. That's basically what is happening with the hi-hat pattern. That is what is giving it that filtered sound. That is called a low-pass filter, okay? When you hear sounds like that, that underwater type of sound, that is a low-pass filter. Okay, you hear that little ding, 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 kind of like twinkly sound. That is a bell that is simply being played in the background following the melody of their vocals. Dun, 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 dun. That is that sound. That is basically a bell. Simply put it, the producer is just following their vocals, their melody of the chorus of their vocals on the keyboard using a bell okay so that's what that is and the drum pattern now they brought the 808 back from the beginning from the first verse correct but now to make it more powerful to bring some diversity and not keep it stale like in the beginning the producer added a kick a kick is that dunk sound and they put that kick on top of the 808 to create a feeling of boom you feel me that's the best way that i can explain it to create that feeling of wow boom and really hit you in the chest and the soul in your heart okay that's what that is kick it 808 everything else honestly what i'm hearing so far is the same the claps still going like uh, and the rest of the drums that i've already mentioned before if you want the spice, Okay, and that hi-hat pattern, it's not that ch -ch 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 type of pattern anymore. Now it's a simple tuk -tuk 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 that you conventionally hear in every song nowadays. But it works, so it's simple, it works, and yeah, let's keep it going. Oh, let me run that back. Oh my gosh. That was incredible. That was really dope. Okay, so now the 808 and kick are still going, but what I'm hearing right now is the pattern got switched up a little bit. So instead of sounding exactly the way that it did in the chorus, now it's allowing them to have a little bit more space to be able to flow to fill in more lyrics. Okay, so the producer most likely removed a few 808s, a few kicks to leave more space for them to be able to do their thing more. Okay, and now the hi hat pattern, the tuk tuk tuk, is not just going with a straight dung 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 dung, which that is called a two step hi hat pattern. Okay. Okay. Now it has these things called rolls, which rolls are the those are rolls, okay, that you conventionally hear with hi hats. The hi hat for this pattern is pan to the left, which if you hear that tu -tu -tu on your left, that is what that is a hi hat pattern. And every time you hear it, that is coming from that hi hat, and that is a roll, a hi hat roll, okay. And that boom. That is a snare, okay? Oh, 
I like her flow. I like her flow. Ding, 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 ding. The ding, the roads from the beginning was brought back into here. Really dope. This is super simple, as you can hear. The 808 was taken out and the kick was taken out, which those two are low end drum elements. Okay, the low end of songs is basically think of it as a kick, 808, the bass, anything that gives the sound of boom, boom. That is a low end element. Okay. All the low end elements were taken out, leaving just the, the mid frequencies and the high frequency elements, which basically is just the opposite of the boom, boom, boom are left. OK, so just the, the chords from the roads in the beginning and now the hi hats, which that creates a feeling of like a flow. You feel me to keep it flowing. And then I'm pretty sure it's going to drop back into the 808 and kick it creates that tension, that polarity at moments just want to hear dun 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 but at other moments it's also good to have that dun 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 that's the best way that i could explain it okay build up tension build up some intensity for the next part which will most likely have that kick and 808 back i have cinnamon swirl at twirl not your average girl got you clutching them pearls cause you know who run the world Forget about the 808. I was just talking about the kick. The 808 was still present in the last part. Okay. Pre chorus, I already broke it down, so let's just keep listening. Beautiful melody. choreography is always on point with k-pop bro this is fire the video the visuals i'm not even breaking the visuals down but fire okay really happy really pretty like them all right i'll keep it 100 with you <laughs> songwriting production everything is incredible so far For the chorus, you hear that uh, uh, in the background spread around your ears. That is called the harmony. The way that that is done is either one or two of them or even more possibly because there's multiple of them. They sung into the mic as a chorus is playing right and did that. Uh, uh. So that's what you hear in the background. That is called the harmony because they're harmonizing. And the way that it sounded like that is the engineer, which the engineer is simply the person that mixes all of their voices together to the beat to make it sound the best way possible. So they're the ones that add all the cool effects to the voices and make them sound the way they do. Okay, so the engineer basically just added reverb, that cave echo, and some stereo widening, stereo imaging, which basically just means make the sound wider, spread it around your ears more, which is why it sounds like that. Okay, I'm hyped for this next part. That's a nice riff right there. Still using that keyboard, that Rhodes. I'm not exactly sure what Rhodes it is, but it sounds like a really, a really pretty one. Okay, there's a lot of Rhodes, so it's kind of difficult to tell, but I can tell it's a Rhodes. Okay, right now it's super simple. You see, once again, the low end, the boom booms are taken out. Okay, so this is building up tension, building up intensity. This is the pre-chorus or the bridge leading up to that last final chorus, which is most likely going to have some more elements of vocals, some more layers of vocals just to finish the song off on a high point. This is my favorite member. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. You are beautiful. And that that is coming from a tambourine. I'm going to say a tambourine, right? So instead of just the clap or a snare, it's playing the clap with the tambourine, which is what's giving it that type of sound. You feel me? Just, you feel me? Add a little bit more character, a little bit more sauce, a little bit more bounce, okay? Just add these little things, little details that make the biggest difference and keep you engaged and bring something new, even if it's small. In music, especially nowadays, the little things added here and there are what make the biggest difference considering how much music is coming out nowadays you feel me so these little details i really enjoy listening to and noticing 
This is fire. I really like this. Okay, I knew it. I knew it. I told you. I told you. Did I not? Okay, but in all seriousness. There's no going back now once you try. If you want to speak, sugar along. Okay, right there, as you heard, the instrumental was just silenced in the beginning, right? So think of it as this. While making music, it's just simply all about patterns. So that's why I say patterns, because literally when making music, it's like drawing. You're literally like drawing patterns of notes organizing them in specific ways and you could silence them duplicate them copy them etc okay so basically what the producer did was cut out the first section of the chorus and silence it and let them harmonize in that section that ooh, then bringing all the elements back from the chorus to give that dope transition which is exactly what you heard that ooh, that is how the producer did that. Everything else, yeah, completely the same, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Just that element is what was added to give you that surprise, that final wow factor. Instead of keeping all of the choruses the exact same, because this is the third chorus, so if it were to be the exact same as the other two, then it would have been kind of stale, you feel me? So far, the production is really pretty on this, and I don't say that a lot, honestly. And their vocal performance, incredible. Once you try, Oh, nice vocals at the very end. Hold on, let me play that back one more time. Wow, the harmonies. The harmony on that was incredible. Oh my goodness. The way that they did that, I already explained how they did the harmonies, right? But the way that it sounded like in this final part was so beautiful. <laughs> so basically, I'm pretty sure she, it was just her, the final vocalist, right? Singing the chorus. The way that that the producer did that final harmony is she just sung that line three times over and think of it as a sandwich. She just layered it. She just sung the main vocal and then another one, then recorded over that second one, creating that, that stack of vocals, okay? So the main vocal, the very first one, that stays in the middle. The second one goes left. The third one goes right, which is what gave it that super wide sound, thus creating a harmony. Really dope way to end the song. Wow, that was beautiful. This was really pretty. This is like the prettiest song I've heard. Shout out the producer to this, all right? My very first time listening to them. Thank you to whoever commented to react to them. Shout out to you, all right? But Benny, cherry on top, what does that get from me? Overall, the production, first off, incredible. I really liked it. Such pretty selections of chords, of sounds, honestly. Even the drums. It was like trap, but like really pretty. You feel me? It was hard, but pretty at the same time. Really soft, really luscious. Good choice of instruments. Production, I loved it. Second, their vocal performance, incredible. Thirdly, the songwriting, catchy, simple. That's all you need. <laughs> and lastly, the video, incredible. Really nice, aesthetically pleasing to the eyes. All the members, I like them a lot, honestly. Very good first impression on me. So thank you to whoever commented to react to them. I appreciate you so much. If you have any more like song suggestions from them, feel free to comment them down below and i'll deliver reactions to the best of my ability breaking down the musical production side of things because i know that not everyone 
knows much or anything about the music side of their favorite songs so that's what i'm here for to have you know what goes on on the other side of the music so you can have a deeper more personal connection with your favorite songs favorite music favorite artists okay thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate you shout out benny shout out you thank you i appreciate you so much i'm gonna see you guys in the next one all right much love izoki out